about the course. There are three words that define this course. Geostatistics, R, and QGIS. But what does it mean? Well, the main goal of this course is to learn the basics, the fundamentals of the geostatistics in the area of the exploratory data analysis, known as a EDA. Depending on the successful of this part of the course, based on the exploratory data analysis, the course could be extended to structural analysis and also data estimation with Kriegin co Kriegin interpolation. The geostatistics is a pretty new science. It started at the early 1950s and it changed a lot at the last 20 years, due to the powerful of the computation. Currently, we can make very complex geostatistical analysis with our domestic computers. We don't longer need to use a very powerful computers. We can do the models from our home with our computers. That's what happened currently. However, if we want to understand this science, we have to assimilate the basics, the fundamentals of the geostatistics. And that's the goal of this course, getting a strong foundation on geostatistics is going to help us to understand this science. The second goal of this course is to learn coding with R. R it's a very popular software for geostatistics and it is free and open source. For that reason, R has millions of users and they are creating new things with R day after day. And most of the time, they are sharing this content for free. You can get it. It's over there. The growth of R in the recent years has been exponential. And let me tell you, it is quite hard to think in geostatistics without thinking in R. Anytime, anyone around the world can have access to R and also access to a lot of free information about how to use R. The potential, the power of the R it's unlimited. Do you want to be part of the R community? This is your chance. This is your time. Go for it. You can learn it. The third and last goal of this course is going to be integrate R in QGIS. It means that we are going to create our own algorithms with R that are going to be used in QGIS. QGIS is also a free and open source software with millions of users. The community of QGIS is so big and there are a lot of people developing new things for the software like extensions, plugins that can be added to the software to make this one more powerful and stronger. The near future for QGIS is so good. It's going to be one of the most powerful softwares for geographic information systems because it's free, because the community is so big, and because there are a lot of people developing new things for the software. Then it's time to learn QGIS. It's time to know how to use it. And this is your opportunity. As a summary, in this course, you will learn geostatistics with R using QGIS. Anyone can be part of this course because we are going to start from zero. You don't need to have previous knowledge. It is going to be a step-by-step -step course, easy to follow, easy to apply what you are learning. You know, I'm not a math guy. I'm going to explain the things pretty simple 
with a real examples that you are going to understand everything. I'm going to provide you everything for the course. Lessons, software, data. The only thing you have to do is just watch the videos. The question is, are you ready to learn? Let's go to do it. First, I am going to install QGIS R and R Studio, but I am going to do the installation from scratch. In that way, you are going to see the version of the software I'm installing on my computer. If you want to reproduce the same results as I get, we have to make sure that we are at the same page. It means that we are using the same version of the software in order to avoid any problem related to the incompatibility of the packages that we are going to install on R and the version of R we have. To download the software, we are going to use the GeoRGV website at gscourse.online, as you can see over here, gscourse.online. Then here you can go to the tab resources and here we have all the links necessary to download the softwares. First, I am going to start with QGIS and the version that we are going to install is the 3.18. I'm going to pass the video faster. QGIS is installed and now it's ready to be used. Now we are going to install R, then go here, resources, and click here. Press this option here. Select the mirror. In my case, it's going to be Canada. The first link is OK. Then I'm going to download R for Windows, this option. Click on base, and then this option over here at the top. The version for R is going to be the 4.0.5. I'm going to pass the video faster. Now we have also R installed and the last one is going to be R Studio. With R Studio, we are going to have a more uh, nicer interface than the interface that we have for R, as you can see, that is very ugly. And that's the reason because we are going to use um, R Studio instead to use R. Okay, let's go to click this option here and let's go to install the software. Go to the bottom of this page, then press this option here, R Studio Desktop. Then we are going to select the first option, Open Source Edition. Then here we are going to select the free version, this one. Then I'm going to select for Windows 10, this option here, and I'm going to pass the video faster. Now we have the R Studio installed. I would like to mention that the version we installed, it was the 1.4.1106. That is important. Now I would like to change a little bit these panels to do that one. I'm going to add the panel here for the scripts. Just go here. And our scripts. That's it. Then you can move these ones a little bit. You can make whatever you want and also I'm going to change the appearance of this one then go here to tools global options and appearance and I'm going to select this one that's the one I like and okay okay that's good and that's it now we have all the software installed and the next step is going to integrate uh, R in QGIS. 
then let's go to move on to QGIS and if you go to uh, settings options and then go to providers you are going to see that here is no R then we have to install R inside the QGIS then to do that one we have to go to plugins make sure you have internet connection manage and install plugins and the plugin we are going to look for is uh, processing R providers I believe let me check then processing processing Uh, processing our providers is this one then select this one and install plugin that's good then we can close here and now if you go again to settings options and then check providers now we have R over here now we want to make sure that everything is right then click this option over here and check the folders and the links for the package repository, the link is good. For the folder where R is installed, is this one, that is good. This folder is really important because this folder is where we are going to save the scripts that we are going to create. If you want to change this folder, just double click on here and you can uh, select a different folder. But that one by default is good. Then if you are using a 64 uh, version, then check this box make sure you have also checked this box and um, this folder is good also then everything uh, looks good then what we're going to do now is go to processing toolbox and as you can see we cannot see R here at the top it means that we have to restart the QGIS then I'm going to close this one and I'm going to open this one again then click this option here uh, let's see what happened now and as you can see now we have R over here and that's ready to create a new script okay that's good also if you move down you're going to see here R then if you open this tab you are going to see that there is some scripts already that can be used what I'm going to do now it's uh, download some scripts in this uh, website paste if you want to get this link i'm going to leave this link at the top of courses in the georgb website community okay then go here let's go to enter press this option over here and i'm going to download this document download zip then okay and i'm going to copy this folder over here and I'm going to paste in one folder that I am going to create on the desk I'm going to minimize all these ones here new folder that's okay then go here and I'm going to paste over here paste and I'm going to extract over here and now the next step is go again to QGIS, go to settings, options, providers, R, and I'm going to copy this folder, copy. I'm going to open a new file explorer and I'm going to paste the link over here, paste. Then I go to this folder and I'm going to paste here the scripts. Uh, I have this, this is the document I downloaded, then double click on this folder. And the important folder for us is this one, the one with our scripts, then double click. And I am going to copy all these scripts. Copy, and I'm going to paste in this folder okay that's the link for the folder for the R scripts in QGIS okay then paste here that's it I can close this one I can close this one then I can close this one 
and as you can see nothing happens then i have to restart the qgis again then I'm going to close this one and click over here and now if we go to r you are going to see that now we have from here to here all these ones are new and all these scripts are from the for the document we downloaded and if we open any tab of these ones as you can see there are th scripts that we can use and that's very interesting because we can use uh, this information the scripts inside this information to create our scripts for example if you select this one and click uh, right on your mouse and then go to edit the script you are going to see the coding for this script and that is going to be very helpful that's the end of this video for the next one we are going to see how we can download a database from r is going to be a database related with uh, soil contaminated that we are going to use for our projects in QGIS and also in R. And at the same time, we are going to, to see also another different database that's uh, from a project I did and it is related with uh, groundwater. And for the projects, we are going to work with these two databases, but that is for the next video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one.